you guys, we made it! This is the view from our hotel. We just got here, we haven't checked in yet, we're still in the bus, but this is across the street. <laughs> Dropped off our bags, changed, obviously put on some makeup, and we we're about to find lunch. We were supposed to go to a Spanish restaurant, but uh, Kate just saw this spot. <laughs> She's like, it's got pretty flowers, and it's Haggis and Whiskey House. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh it's cute in here. <laughs> All right, to start off with, we got these mini haggis balls and I got the Haggis Hunter Pale Ale right here. Just the half pint. It's so cute. And then Kate got the full pint. There she is. Okay, let's, uh, let's dig in, guys. <laughs> let's try this. Haggis for the first time. It smells pretty good, actually. Okay. Go for it. Contemplating deep thoughts. It is mushy. Kind of chewy, but not too much. I like it. You gotta get the uh, haggis. What is it called again? Like, why do I keep Haggis Hunter. Haggis Hunter mm -hmm. to wash it down with. Overall, I really like this. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of it, but I'm curious to see what the traditional dish tastes like. So uh, once that comes, we'll have to redo this, see how well that goes. <laughs> no, I'm pleasantly surprised with this, actually. It's good. All right, you guys, here is my haggis dish. It's all stacked up. I'm assuming it doesn't usually come presented like this. It looks quite pretty. <laughs> is it? All right, all right. I'm just doing all three layers. It's kind of hot. <laughs> I actually like this. It's good. I approve. Oh, we're coming. Sir? Oh, I can grab this round. Guys, we are looking for Panda and Sons, which is a speakeasy. And uh, the best and worst part about these speakeasies is that you can't find it. And I think it's this black door right here. Maybe? Or maybe it's around. Just looking for it. We just got done dinner. So we found this speakeasy. I think it's through here. Yeah. This is not a barber shop. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's like 
like zoodles? Yeah, they're like spiralized. Huh? Cucumbers? <laughs> that's crazy. In the right light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that. That's a great light right there. Because there are zoodles in here. Just Where's the drink? drink? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> yeah, try it. Oh my God. You have to try this. This is a vacuum pump. It's basically like a massive vacuum chamber. Um, and then what it does is it fluctuates from like minus 40 to plus 40. Um, and basically it freezes and thaws slightly. And what the vacuum does with heat pads is it then extracts the moisture from it. So it freezes, slightly thaws, and then the vacuum takes the moisture out and it repeats that process okay. until there's no moisture left. So it keeps refreezing it to make sure it keeps the shape. The same liquid heats. So yeah, so yeah, so the, the, the solar is put in there, freeze it, and then it thaws slightly uh -huh. and then the vacuum takes the moisture away and then that's it. Say so you did candy today? I made today. candy today. Oh my cannabis. gosh. So I was like, oh, so, okay. <laughs> so we're going to try the pineapple. And we got some candy to try as well. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's right. Is it, let's see, it's here, right? Have you guys had like, uh, do you guys have laces? Like these ones in the States? Like candy, candy uh, laces. Yeah, those are like they're like strawberry. Like, but, yeah, strawberry. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll try these. Try these ones first. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, that one. Those are freeze dried With pineapple. Mm. Why do you chew like that? <laughs> How do you chew? Oh, you I love it. Before. So I chew like a savage. You chew beautifully. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Yeah. It's candy. But oh my gosh. Pineapple is like candy. Yeah. And okay. what is that? No, but you know, these are so. So these are bendy and these they're are. They're like, bendy and oh. like you like squeeze them and like the cream comes out. Oh. It's like strawberry cream. Uh huh. Yeah. What are they called in the States? They have like, like sweet tarts mixed one. Uh huh. So you can find them like like smaller candy brands too. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Because now I'm going to find like everything. I know. <laughs> Can I borrow your machine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing everything. Good morning. We only have a few more hours left. Edinburgh so we came to the elephant house for breakfast uh, this is where JK Rowling started writing Harry Potter so it says it's the birthplace of Harry Potter uh, I'm not like a huge fan but Kate wanted to see it really bad and I'm always down for breakfast and coffee so here we are oh my god doggos mm. they're so cute all right well, let's get inside. Let's see what this place is all about. All right, got some coffee, got some Pedialyte, and check this view out. Isn't that amazing? I'll show you guys around a little bit more. This is so beautiful. Just doing some last minute touristy stuff. Had to come rub the nose of this pup for good luck. Here's the story behind him. Apparently once his master passed away, he would visit his grave every single day until his death. And now people rub his nose for good luck. That's why it's the only one that's like, only part of him that's polished and the rest of it's kind of tarnished and it just looks so cute. <laughs> we made it to Aberdeen. This is going to be my first beer of the day. I got the Innocent Dead. Oh, Mango Sour. It's so good. It's like a mango IPA. When I ordered it, the bartender was about to like pour me the lager and I was like, no dude, I said the mango IPA. And he's like, wait, we have that? I'm like, really? I know more about your menu than you do. 
Not really, I didn't say that. But anyway, just gonna pour this in. The bus ride here was amazing. It's so beautiful. And then like on the countryside, you see these little sheep everywhere. It was like, I don't know. I act like I've never seen sheep in my life, but I don't think I've ever really seen sheep out in the wild in my life. So yeah, anyway, that was really cool. We got into our hotel, checked in, and then came over to this pub called Archibald. So when you go up to order, they don't come to your tables. You have to tell them your table number. And we would have never figured this out if a nice gentleman next to us didn't tell us. Because, uh, I don't know, I've never had that happen to me before. Anyway, so if you're ever in Aberdeen and you end up coming to a pub called Archibald, you have to tell them your uh, table number, which is going to be on the corner. Right here, 62. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this isn't a like the only place that does that. Uh, so yeah, good tip to know. Anyway, I'm going to sip on this. Cheers. Let's see. It's pretty hoppy. I haven't had a lot of hoppy beers here, so this is pretty hoppy. You get a little taste of mango. It's not too prominent, but. It's definitely fruitier than the typical IPAs you get in uh, the UK. Anyway, I'm gonna sip on this, wait for my food. I ordered the bangers and mash because, you know, when in Scotland, I've already done the haggis and now we gotta do the bangers. Cheers! So I have my bangers and mash. It says three Lincolnshire sausages. I don't know what that really means, but we got some gravy. Let's, let's get it on there. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten all day. So this is like the first thing I'm eating today. That's mashed potatoes and peas. Definitely tastes like comfort food, especially on a day like this. It's like gloomy and cold outside. Oh, it's so beautiful outside too. <laughs> Everything is just so charming and so beautiful and historic and costly. I'm never leaving. Okay, I'm just gonna eat my food now and never leave.